Well, this is what I have to wake up to. This is so terrible. <laughs> I'm being facetious, of course. I am so grateful and happy to be in this location. It's hard to beat drinking coffee and looking at this. Well, we've got some tinkering to do. Let's get to it. So I'm charging up the e-bike. You don't have to take the battery out of the bike to charge it. There is a little port built here into the frame. I put a piece of tape over it a long time ago to keep water out. So yeah, you just plug it in right there. I did crack the frame open. By crack, I mean I just unlatched it. Just because this hole that they put in the frame doesn't actually line up very well. So when you open the frame a little bit, then it gives you a little more play to line that up properly. And this is the charger itself. And it just plugs into the power station. And right now it's charging at 113 watts. I did see it up at 118 earlier. So it looks like it fluctuates between 112 and 120. That's pretty normal. So I started with 96% charge. Now I want to see what it is by the time the e-bike battery is fully charged. Now the e-bike battery sits inside of here and it was only down about 35 percent so it's only going to take a couple of hours to charge the battery up and we'll check on it in about an hour and i have been really pleased with this all powers power station it's 1100 watt hour it's got a lot of outlets on it it's got bluetooth so I don't even have to come over here and look at it if I don't want to. I can just turn the Bluetooth on my phone and see what's going on with the power station just from the app on my phone. See, you know, what percentage of charge it's at. Or what's the discharge rate that's actually going into the e-bike battery. That'll show right on my phone. So this is a fantastic power station. The link is uh, in the description below the video, so read down through there. You'll see the link in case you want to check it out. So let me stop here and mention this. This is important. So this power station is 1100 watt hour and the e-bike battery is 576 watt hour. So if you do it this way, make sure your power station is a higher watt hour than your e-bike battery. Now, one thing I could be doing if I chose to is I could plug my 200 watt solar panel into this while it's charging the e-bike battery and the solar panel would charge the power station. But I'm not going to do that right now. I want to actually run some power out of this power station and just see how much percentage is left when the e-bike battery is fully charged because that's some knowledge that I'll need for the future. And then after I get all that information, then I'll plug up the 200 watt solar panel from all powers and charge this power station back up. Now this is some screenshots that I took of the app throughout the charging process. The e-bike battery has a battery management system and you can see as the charge progresses, the input that the e-bike battery receives goes down. This is a lithium ion e-bike battery. And it'll charge fast up to about 90% full and then it lowers the charge rate. You can see there it's gone under 50 watts now. So that's telling me that it's just about charged up. Probably 20 more minutes. Okay, so the e-bike battery is fully charged and I ended up with 75% charge left on the power station. So I've moved it over here and plugged it into the solar panel. I'm bringing in 145 watts. 
So that shouldn't take but an hour or so, maybe two hours, and the power station will be recharged. And like I said before, I could have had this solar panel plugged up the whole time and the power station would have remained charged, but I just wanted to see where it would end up. So that's how I do it. If you have solar panels and a power station, you can have an e-bike. Or if you just have an inverter in your van, in your house battery system, if your inverter is over, say, 300 watts, you could just plug it into it. Either way, but this is the way I'm doing it because I don't have a large inverter in my van. Hope it helps. Take care, be well, and smash the bell.